Hi, welcome to the section two at uh, this course. In this lecture, I will uh, teach you how to create your database to install the WordPress system on your site. Uh, firstly, um, I will work uh, with the domain name of excellentultimate.com uh, 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 and uh, to create the database at the server, I have to uh, come here for the URL and slash cpanel and click here as you see and um, I have to, um, to change the language, sorry, uh, to be at English username and password so now I have to uh, log in to the cPanel with username excellent ultimate this is the username and this is the password and now click for login login successfully redirecting first thing um, we have to create database and user so that um, we have to to go for um, mysql databases click here create a new database a new database excellent database one let us uh, do, do that for database one and click here create database let us show what's happened create a database added the database now I have to save to grab this um, name excellent underscore database one and uh, copy this uh, sorry I have to to grab this uh, this name again and uh, copy control C by on the mouse or on the keyboard sorry control and uh, C uh, then I have to open um, a notepad database uh, database name okay then I have to minimize then come back here go back so now I have to uh, create uh, a new user with a password to add uh, this user with all privilege uh, through this database so that uh, uh, here add uh, a new user username password let us uh, choose uh, root um, 99 this is um, the username and the password to make uh, a strongly password uh, we have to uh, click here for um, password uh, generator uh, this is a um, password uh, we have to uh, grab uh, all of this uh, this password and control C copy and click here I have uh, uh, copied this password uh, to a secure location then use password this is uh, for password very strong uh, password come back again here for the notepad username and uh, password or password as you see here paste the password come back again to create a user just uh, I just uh, copy the password after that I have to click for create user let us show what will happen now after click uh, for create a user and as you see uh, okay you have successfully created uh, a mysql user named so now we have to uh, grab all of this uh, this name excellent underscore root 99 as you see here and uh, grab and copy control c and come back for my notepad because of i need this uh, this information to install uh, my uh, wordpress system in next lecture so I hope that you will follow me step by step to do that correctly okay now I have to minimize uh, this again and uh, go back click here come back for the site and go back so now 
um, I have to add the user for the, the, the database which I created before uh, before a couple of uh, minutes. So now add a user to a database. This is the user, excellent, uh, excellent root 99 database, excellent database, and click here for add. Now manage user privileges. Uh, user excellent root 99 with the with the database excellent database one click here for all privilege to get all permissions for the user to manage all uh, all things uh, um, uh, through this uh, database alter create create temporary tables delete um, um, event uh, index uh, alter uh, routing um, and uh, execute, uh, drop, uh, insert, and all. Click here for uh, manage, uh, make changes, updating uh, privilege. You have successfully uh, granted the privilege on the, the, the database, excellent database one, two, the MySQL user, excellent root nine, nine. That's all. And we have to cl uh, click or here for uh, close and uh, go back. So now, if we uh, scroll down here, we see the database, excellent database one, size, uh, uh, we don't have any file yet, uh, still now, and the privilege user, um, and that's it. So this is all for the database for the, the user. Uh, this is all, and uh, I have to come back uh, here for uh, home page. And now uh, we are going to uh, file manager to upload the, the WordPress, uh, the WordPress uh, system, the WordPress uh, files or the WordPress uh, script as a compressed uh, folder. Uh, but before that, um, I have uh, to um, discuss uh, some information with you. Uh, to do this um, site, uh, I, uh, I provide you a free hosting package uh, from my hosting company uh blue clouds hosting uh, so free hosting for our student hosting package 200 megabyte uh, per one year for free to try your experience for building the site to do that contact us uh, when you pay your course uh, online by sending your email address from your account in udemy.com or any sites like uh, harboracademy.com uh, you buy our uh, course uh, through it get your uh, to get your package for more help you have to uh, mail us directly at uh, students uh, at uh, blue clouds uh, hosting uh, dot com so that's all for uh, the hosting uh, package so after um, your uh, purchase uh, this course uh, from the internet you have to contact us uh, at uh, blue clouds hosting to get your uh, free hosting uh, to try your site so that um, now I have to come back here to install uh, the WordPress. Uh, we will discuss this uh, in next um, s uh, next uh, lecture. But before um, I will explain uh, something uh, is very important for you, uh, which how to install the WordPress. To install the WordPress, you have to go for um, WordPress uh, WordPress dot org and click uh, here. To show something to do that so now um, you see ready to get uh, started download wordpress uh, version 4.5.2 so click here to download so i'll click again here to download the uh, wordpress uh, okay that's good WordPress uh, starting uh, down uh, start uh, downloads. So so that um, see you next uh, lecture to install and set up the WordPress uh, through my hosting package. Goodbye.